This is a continuation of the test for the beam and chief screws, the valve retention screws. We tested those to failure. Now we've got some uh, replacement alloy steel screws ordered from McMaster Car. I've installed some of the new screws into our fixture. Three of them. Here we can compare the new screws to the old broken ones. I got the old broken ones out using a left hand drill, just center punch a little spot. Use a left hand drill with a cordless drill, back that back it out, work pretty pretty easily. Here's one of the heads broken off. Uh, there's the left hand drill bit. It's about three millimeters. The screws are about four millimeters. So they came out pretty easily. But anyway, we've got the new screws installed now, and we're ready to take and do a test on them. This is our test of the high strength replacement screws, high strength alloy steel screws. That we're going to be using three of them in the simulated beam and chief air tube and valve body. This gauge reads in pounds of force because the surface area of the piston inside here is exactly one square inch. So if it reads up here at 12 o'clock, 3,000, that's 3,000 pounds of force, and so that would be 1,000 pounds on each screw, 1,000 pounds of shear force on each screw. So we're going to go ahead and get set up for the test here. First thing we're going to do is pump this up a little bit, take up the slack in the system, That is about 600 pounds of force, so 200 pounds on each screw. Let me go ahead and measure the gap here. The gap is measuring about 0 0.190, 190 thousandths. Now you remember our uh, OEM screws, they got up to a max of about 3,400 pounds of force. And then we backed off a little bit, and then they failed at 3,000. Pressure dropping back from just leakage inside the pump. Stopping at 3,000 pounds of force, I'm going to measure. We're at about 180, so we had about 10 thousandths movement, which is probably just taking up the slack in the holes. I'm going to continue. Okay, we're at uh, 3,600 pounds. One seventy six, a little bit of movement, but it has a, it's not feeling mushy. Still feel still feels fairly solid. Measure again. One seventy two, one seventy three. Still not much movement.
Okay, it looked like it broke right at about 5,000 pounds. One of the screw heads popped off, the other two were still wedged in there. You can see how that one is tilted on the side quite a bit. We'll go ahead and uh, take this out and take a look. Here's one of the screw heads I recovered. So when these screws failed at about 5,000 pounds of force, this being a idea of this tube being 22 millimeters, if it were filled with air, that'd be the equivalent of almost 8,500 psi, almost 8,500 psi. Now the stock screws, when they failed at 3,000 pounds of force, that was the equivalent of about 5,100 psi of air pressure inside a 22 millimeter tube. So these high strength alloy screws are significantly stronger. They're about two-thirds stronger than the stock screws. And that pretty much concludes the test.